Y'all oh, I'm not finished. I'm not finished talking. I'm not finished talking. Hello. Hello. I, hey, hey, hey. If I collided down for you, I would have been talking to you. Hey, hey, hey. If I collided down for you, then I think you would have down for me. Have the audacity. If you have the audacity, are you going to shut up now? Or are you going to let me speak? If you have, oh, you're going to let me speak because I'm not finished. Then you can speak. Okay. No, you're not. You're not going to talk over me. Okay. Anyway. Hey, Daniel. Hello. Hi, How Brian. Oh, you can die. Hello? Hey, what's up? Who's this? This is Mr. Repsion, the guy you've been threatening with death threats. Oh. So I'm going to slit your throat and oh. all those wonderful Nicole, things. It, it, wait, it, you, this is not Mr. Repsion. This is Daniel. See, we're not on YouTube right now. So you can address no, but, yourself. No, but this will be going up on YouTube. Way. You this can will be going up on YouTube. So. Way. You can do that. And then we can, we can have a chat. Yes, I've been threatening you for a very good reason. You know how I am when it comes to this shit, and you continue to push the issue. It's not I hard for you. I to continue to push the issue. Yes. How so? Because it, it all started with uh, her coming to you about your Amanda Todd video, and she was wrong when she, when, when she did it because your excuse was poor. Now, if only you said, "Yeah, I wanted views and to make some money," that's sure, sure. Why not? What's wrong with that? Then obviously I wouldn't have gotten into it, but she lied. You lied, and you said that you uploaded it to spread the word. You could have done that without placing ads. You're absolutely right. I could have uploaded it without putting ads on it, but I have no problem putting ads on it, a video like that. And see, the problem is, Brian, and I say this respectfully, is that I don't mind people calling me out saying that I did it for exploitation. But if I did it for that very reason, I would admit it. I've made videos on my channel for exploitation before. But this particular video was not made for that intention. And there's really no way for you can actually prove with a with you can't prove that I actually made it with that intention of specifically exploiting the tragedy of Amanda Todd. And even if you could, I don't care. I don't care if you think I exploited it. In fact, I don't care if anybody thinks that I exploited it because my message overall is more important than making money off of the situation. And the real problem I have is with your girlfriend coming onto my video and saying, oh, you can't put ads on a video when she would make viral video responses that were about 30 seconds to a minute in length showing off her tits and saying, this happened in a video. This is what happened. This is what happened for 45 seconds. And then she'd turn off the video. That's what real exploitation is. No, I honestly don't. I, no, 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 no. Let me finish. I have no problem with anybody exploiting a situation, whether it be suicide or whatever. As long as they bring a good message with that video, I have no problem with it. Okay. All right. Well, the funny thing about that is you, you did say you did it without any intent of making money. There we go. You could have taken the ads off. That has already been discussed. There's no other way around it. You put of course ads I could have taken the ads off. Of course I could have, but I but have no reason to. I have not? no reason to take them off. So you would rather make almost $1,000 a grand on someone else's uh, despair. You would rather do that. I have no problem making money off of someone else's despair when I bring a valid point and bring awareness to the problem. No, I don't have a problem with that. I don't think you brought awareness to the problem. I mean, the problem was already there. I mean, it didn't, it, it didn't have to take you to even put it out. Dude, if it was really that big of a problem, you would. I would have a lot of people telling me, oh, there's ads on the video. You were... You were only you and like one other person I know have actually made it a big deal about it. It has over 8,000 likes. If it was really an exploitation, if I was sitting there with my shirt off showing my little tiny nipples that I have, then you know what? If I made a 30 second video saying, Look, Amanda Todd killed herself, Amanda Todd killed herself, and then ended the video, then yeah, you would have a valid point. But I don't believe what you're saying has any validity when in fact my video has a good point and message on the video and that's what matters to me you can tell me you can tell me my intentions all you want you can sit there and tell me that i exploited death but you're not going to change my mind on the issue and you can't prove it you cannot prove someone's intention for making a video 
That's fine. We already know your, you know, your built EO drip, and I already know that most of your subscribers already came from the amazing atheists. Which Actually, are if you go to Social Blade, atheists. if you go to Social Blade, you can see that I gained approximately fifteen thousand subscribers from him from that time he promoted my channel. Other than that, I have built them all on my own. You can go to Social Blade, and you can see the statistics for yourself. But yes, yeah. he did give me a channel bump. I had 12,000 subscribers when he promoted my channel. I got up to, up to 25,000 from that promotion. And since then, I have earned all of my own subscribers. You can and go up fine. on Social Blade and, and, and look and, and, it up. Right. That's fine. But, but the, 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 the fact remains is it's still adding up. People are still watching his old videos. And yeah, they're going to subscribe to you. So I know what? because of the whole, the so whole Dak so thing with me to? and the whole Dak thing with myself and Eric Douglas. Another thing he mentioned was uh, with her... Uh, he said, Megan, uh, doing uh, videos. Well, this we're, we're talking about the past here. I'm talking about the now. I'm talking about things that are happening now. I mean, she doesn't do any of that stuff anymore because no. she does, does, doesn't, doesn't want to. And no, doesn't that, do that. The point is... So, you, sh you can't have her come on to if you if it had just been you saying Daniel you're exploiting which you did but no your girlfriend of all the people of all the people to come to me and tell ex -girlfriend. me it's her or your ex girlfriend whatever it's her of all people it's I don't have a problem with you Brian although I know my admin does since you've been talking to him through the private messaging by the way um, that has been him although I have been reading it but nonetheless it's Megan is the problem not you. Okay, well, the, the only reason why I, uh, I think that you have a problem is because you put me off of Skype with yeah, any about reason. That, let, let, let about that, I did delete you off Skype, and based upon your reaction to, towards me, based upon, you didn't even ask me why you deleted. You just send me a message and start yelling the whole faggot card at me. Honestly, if you really wanted me to add you back on Skype, you could have asked, Daniel, why did you delete me? But no, you go on this tangent on my personal Facebook on why, how I shouldn't have deleted you. That I did that first time, though. That, that I did that did. first time. Publish the photos of the, our conversations of with what you had with my admin. You're, you're in, you're, you didn't even ask me why I deleted you. You, you just I, go. I, I shouldn't have asked because obviously you deleted me, and that was not the first time that you did. He said, "Oh yeah, no, it was an accident." The first time I well, did you, the first time was an accident because you changed your name. But the second time I deleted you, I deleted you with the intention of deleting you. Yeah, I don't you, care. You deleted me because here's the deal: you deleted me because you saw Megan come on to you about something, and then you just decided no, to delete me. So well, here's the thing: you took her actions. Okay. And then you placed them against me, which is actually a stupid thing to do. You went and judged me over someone else's actions. That's why I'm, I have a problem with you. That's because you judged you me first. Megan, and I don't want to be part of anything Megan says or tries to say. Well, now anything you're obviously stuck because you have already committed to making a video now about her. No, I didn't say I would make a video. What I said is that if you keep trying to push the issue, I can make a video about her if you want. And believe See, the me, issue I, would have been, the issue would have been lots because I already talked to uh, NBA about it, and I told him I would drop it. And uh, you can ask yourself, I said, no, I'm, I'm dropping the whole thing. That's fine. I don't care. But now you've got this the atheist gamer guy who uploaded the video about the, uh, the subject, and now it's drawing attention back. Now have you just let it, it go? And because I commented on it. So what? Yeah, Dude, because you commented on it and you gave it, you gave why it. Why are you so scared of, of getting attention? Is it because you can't tolerate someone saying something negative about it's her? Because if the drama is dropped, then it should be dropped. It's not dropped anymore if you continue to, to comment on it and keep up Dude, with it. Whether I comment on the video or not, it's still going to cause drama. That's the point. That's why not he made the video. Not, it was it was actually quieting down until you commented on it today. It really was. So what? I comment on tons of videos. I comment on Chicken Doodle Sauce's videos. I comment on videos that are bashing me. So what? I comment on videos all the time, and I have my activity feed public for that exact reason, so people can see everything I say, and people can be held, hold me accountable for what I say. That's yeah, why. Maybe if, if you wanted this whole thing dropped between myself or between Megan, then uh, then you should just not have comments on video. That's what I'm getting at. You openly knew that. Yeah, you just said that. You openly knew that the subscriber feed... Uh, would show up that everyone will see it, and now people are more people are getting more aware of the drama. Yeah, if you I wanted it mind. to go and die off, then just let it die off. I don't mind promoting something that is truthful, 
and that is the fact. Actually, that's that not truthful. The guy said that she was on YouTube doing things for four years. Already, there you go, that guy is a piece of shit liar. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about her coming onto my video and saying, oh, you're exploiting this and that. That's what I was referring to. I, mean, I, I don't I understand that. But he, he was wrong on the four, when he, I read his comment, oh, she's been on here for four years. That was wrong. I agree with that. But I'm talking about the overall message of his video. And I agreed with it. Like because I said, he, if it had just been you commenting on my video, I wouldn't have had a problem. But the fact that your your titted girlfriend who shows off her tits and all and I know this is the past. I realize this is the past, but nonetheless, when you have a dramatic effect and you get four forty nine million views from exploiting every viral video, and I say every viral video out there that's only thirty seconds long, showing off your boobs and having an arrow point to it, that's my problem. And that's why I don't, I, I was, I just, I, ugh, just seeing her comments on my video disgusts me. Because of all people, of all people. What's wrong with a little sexual appeal? Say, I didn't hear what you said. What was it? What's wrong with sexual appeal? There's nothing wrong with sexual appeal. The problem is when you make a 20 to 30 second video showing off your breasts only to get views. I mean, if Megan showed off her breasts in a video that was maybe like t 10 minutes long, expanding on why this viral video needs to be watched and giving reasons for why people should watch it, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But the fact that it's only 30 seconds long and she's just it's, it's just like the other other two reply girls, which I know you got you have you. She has a history history with I same problem. They'd make a 30 second video. They wouldn't even expand on what the viral video was about or why people should watch it. They would just have an arrow pointed to their boobs, and there's nothing wrong with boobs. There's nothing wrong with sexuality, but when using your body for that specific way to exploit a viral video, and I mean every viral video, that's my problem. So what you're saying is you're, you're, dra you're drawing a conclusion on her. Let's just talk about Megan first, for example. You're not just Megan. It's all of those people that were still in the who were doing well, let's that. Just, let's go ahead and just talk about Megan since you, you seem to hate when she commented on it. You're drawing a conclusion on who she really is based on her videos, which is actually, I thought you would have learned by now I'm that not trying. there's a difference between YouTube and in real life. You oh, do there know. Is. Yes, but you do know that you are being, you're being uh, basically uh, a troll. That's what she is. When it came to that stuff, that's exactly what she was. No, she was doing. a troll. I don't mind trolling, but I do mind trolling when it's of that specific nature. Well, why? Why? I mean, it's just her sitting there and and, and uh, showing a little bit of cleavage, doing good views and and uh, videos. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's called a booby trap for a reason. <laughs> So let me get this. Would it be okay if I made a, a video on Amanda Todd? Let's just, for sake of argument, say that I'm a woman and I had some breasts and I made a 30-second video trolling people what to get views. Would that be okay? Depends on what the video is about. I mean, if it's about exactly. Amanda Todd, then no. No, about. but she was specifically doing current events that had barely anything to do with death, and then she also was doing the YouTube. On every topic that viral video went about. I went through her videos actually just the other day. I was looking through all of those reply things. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah, but the topics are, are viral topics that are somewhat positive topics. I'm talking yeah, and that Amanda Todd video only had 150,000 views when I made a video response to it. Yeah, well, I mean... I had no but, idea but, but it was I, viral like it did, but it did. Of course, it's going to go viral. I mean, it's just, that's just how it is. Because I have no reason to disable it. Yeah, that's just how it is. But when you're hearing me, what, getting back to what you were talking about, the whole, do I have a problem with the 30? Yes, I would have a problem. If, if Megan decided to make a video of Amanda Todd that same way she did in 30 seconds, then I would have been upset with her. I even got upset at her, and I even called her out on the fact when she made a video on. Uh, thinking that white boy 7th Street was telling lies about his friend's death in a car accident. Um, she did a video about that, uh, calling him out, and I told her that it was not right. It's just the whole death thing is something that 
it, it's just it's just a borderline. Well, I did a video a while back on how to deal with death, where I talked about one of my friends who had a stroke and died. I had video. I have ads on that video. Is that a terrible thing? Because my video is titled "How to Deal with Death on How to Cope Through the Pain of Losing Someone Close to You." No, it's so not a terrible. I, thing. So it's is that is a there terrible thing? Have ads on that video? No, it's not actually because that Why? was your personal. It was your personal experience. Your, it your, was my personal experience and Amanda Todd also when I talk about when I went through an anorexic stage. So again, I bring in personal experiences in my Amanda Todd video and it goes back to my original point that the message is what matters. The only thing I was saying is Amanda Todd is not personal to you. It's not personal to anybody no, but unless the, they knew the video, her. I give personal information about myself and that's the point. It's about the message. I know, yes, and you link and you linked a popular death or suicide or popular topic to the it message. It wasn't popular. And had she had not killed herself, and she had not killed herself, fuck would not have gone up in bleach. That's a and a and b. You wouldn't have made a video. You're right. If if I hadn't have heard about the story, I wouldn't have made a video. You're completely right about that. And you wouldn't have the extra money that you made. That's that. That's why does it matter? Make money off of a video. Like I'm, I'm genuinely concerned as why are you so concerned about me making money off of a video? What's it to because you? Why is it I, your business? No, why is it your business what I make off of my videos? Because currently the way I see it is exploitation. Okay. That's the way I see it. That's the way you see it, and that's perfectly fine. But really, what's the, what's the, the point of this conversation? You see it as exploitation. I don't. Where are we going with this? You don't see, see that, that's the problem. You don't see it as exploitation, but literally, if that girl did not die, you would not have made the money you made. You can't just sit there and say you, you, you didn't exploit because you did. Just say, just say that you exploited, that you exploited it because you already did it. It doesn't matter about the message, but you exploited it. You exploited a topic on her death, and that's it. And then there's no problem. So what? I've exploited death when I talked about my close friend dying. It's no different. different. No, it's yes. not. Personal yes. experience does not change the exploitation method. It does not change anything. So, and like I said, did your friend make the news? Like I said, my Amanda Todd video, I even talk about my own personal experience struggling with anorexia when I was 14. And you, and you just said earlier that because it was my earlier video was about personal experience, therefore it's not exploiting. So, so you're gonna you're basically saying that you're putting all your personal experiences on someone else's death note. That's that's basically what you just said. I went in and I gave my personal experiences on anorexia in my video, along with conveying that the message needs to be addressed. Uh, you've already seen the video. I don't need to tell you what the video is about. Actually, I haven't seen the video. I've seen a bits and pieces of. It. Oh, you, so you even haven't even seen the video, and yet you're trying to hear lecture me about what I'm ta about what I'm talking about. I know, I know so what right it's, the what bat, it's basically right about. I haven't seen the full video. full video, but I know your message was. Yeah, it was too long. If you're gonna if you're gonna make try to talk to me and tell me why I shouldn't talk about the Amanda Todd video and how I shouldn't exploit it, and you haven't even seen the video, you can fuck off. And you're, I'm sorry, but that's. Your ignorance is really showing. If you actually no, have, no, actually it's not. The fact is, you just already told me anyway. So I'm not finished. I'm not finished talking. I'm not finished talking. Hello, hello. I, hey, hey, hey. If I collide it down for you, then I think you should collide it down for me. Have the audacity. If you have the audacity, are you going to shut up now? Or are you going to let me speak? If you have, oh, you're going to let me speak because I'm not finished. Then you can speak. Okay. No, you're not. You're not going to talk over me. Okay. Anyway, the fact is. You exploited death. You exploited death. You know what did. If Amanda Todd had died, you wouldn't have taken those views. You wouldn't have made the video. And there you go. You wouldn't have that money made. That's it. That's the end of the story. All I see, all I hear you do is blah, blah, blah. I'm not. You're wasting your time. Daniel, you're wasting your voice. You have the audacity. If you have the audacity. If you have the audacity to make a video. If to tell me that 
what I shouldn't make on a video and you haven't even seen the video, then I'm not going to talk with you because you haven't even taken the time to watch my full I, video. Are you, are, you, are you that dense? Are you that dense, Daniel? I said I don't watch the whole thing because it's too long, but I saw bits and pieces where I understood. <laughs> Rage quit, motherfucker. See, he can't, he can't, he can't even handle it. Damn fucking moron, I'll say that much. Um, did, I, did I not have some points? He still wouldn't even agree that it was exploitation. And then he goes, and now he's trying to, to say Amanda Todd's death was just like his friends, who nobody knew. Really. Yeah, but under his same token, if his friend hadn't have died, then he wouldn't have been able to make money off of that. So I don't, I see, I don't see any any difference with what he's saying. I think he's right. What do you mean? Well, he said that he, uh, you just told him that his Amanda Todd thing, um, he was making money off the situation, um, and if Amanda Todd hadn't killed herself, he wouldn't have been able to talk about his anorexia, and the video would have never existed. Thus, he wouldn't have made the money. But he so was let's, saying, let's, let's look at this a lot deeper, obviously. Well, I'm not done yet. Okay. I'm not done yet. Uh, you also, and then he went on to say that he, like you stated, he made that video where he was talking about um, his friend having the stroke or whatever, and he was talking about stuff based off of, off of that. So, and then he said that, yeah, I mean, that's sharing my personal experiences. So how is the death of that person and me making money off of it any different than the Amanda Todd thing? And it's not. So, I mean, I don't see where, if you don't have an issue with him talking about his friend's death, because that video wouldn't have happened if his friend didn't die, why it's any different than the Amanda Todd one, and why you're not, why, I feel like if you have an issue with one of them, you should not like both of them, or if you're cool with one of them, you should be cool with both of them, if that makes any sense. Okay, well, this is, this is, an, this is an, easy, um, an easy argument. Let's look at this at, at a different angle. Okay. okay. Uh, say... You have a friend that nobody knew who did like and you make a video about it. Are they, are they, um, are other people other than you and say people like me and other people, millions of people hearing about your friend's death? No, they're not searching the internet for your friend's death. They're not searching about anything of your friend. It's personal. You only know so many people that knew your friend. However, what he decides to do is he goes and talks about nonsense bullshit, anorexia, whatever the fuck it's called, his other friends, on top of uh, taking advantage of the situation, growing sympathy on top of another person's totally different death, who actually happens to be on a search engine, where people are actively searching and seeing it in the news, and he knows that, and he's going to make a video and spill it with being right then and there. So that's what makes it different. The fact is that that is, a searchable, con that is searchable content. Amanda Todd, was, that's why he went viral, because people search Amanda Todd dead, Amanda Todd suicide, uh, and they saw it on the news, and, and saw it in the newspaper, and on Facebook, and that's why he went viral. But, yeah, but I, mean, I guarantee you, if his friend went on the news, and it was a big sensation, and he did it, it would the same thing. What I'm just saying is he knew that the topic was very uh, heavy. He knew that people would be looking for it, and that's why he decided to uh, make the video and put all those little goodies in there. But I, I think that you have to look at it too. That he's um, he's providing a message within his video that other people may be able to relate to. I mean, I don't. If he was if he was sitting up there making like a video, like he said, like. Not, I'm not trying to bash on Megan, but if someone was doing the same thing, like, I don't know, like, I say I made a video, and I was just like, yep, this is what happened, and yep, 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 and I got a, and I made a bunch of views off of it. I'm not actually contributing anything to the discussion about Amanda Todd, but, I mean, Repsion is by, I mean, if he's had an experience like that, then whatever, but he's adding to that conversation, and the topic, he's, he's saying stuff that's relevant to it, so I don't think there's anything wrong with him what? adding his own spin and his own take. Right. What is what is Daniel though? What is Daniel's experience and Amanda Todd's experience the same? How is it? How is it the same? What makes Daniel honest, think? Honest with you, I didn't watch his video, so I can't. I cannot well, I say whether he's right or he's wrong. Pieces of it. I watched bits and pieces of it enough to I know what it's about, and he has no relation to Amanda Todd whatsoever. He decided to make a 
video on a August like that's why he left, that's why he did not that's why he got upset, because he knows he's in the wrong. He knows. And he made that popular uh, the video a popular topic. He sugarcoated that thing on on a and making what people feel sorry for him or I don't know what he was trying to go for when it comes to talking about his personal stuff. But he did not mention really anything that had anything to do with Amanda Todd. There's 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 suicide. Uh, there's problems in the world. Yeah, he can say and and go deep into that and maybe say things about Amanda Todd, like maybe do a video about bullying. Maybe that would be uh, okay. But when he's going around talking about nonsense death that doesn't even have to do with how Amanda did not even die, that to me is misleading and, and, and exploitation. That's kind of the way I see it. And he knows he knows it too as well. His his video should have he should have made two videos then. He should have made one about the Amanda Todd incident and made it strictly about it. And then he can upload his second one about his experience or with a to- something totally different, you know, you know, Amanda Todd tagging or whatever. I knew, and he thinks that he's so cool that Amanda Todd video was 150,000 views. Wow. I saw it when it was at 303 and still gaining, um, you know, comments and likes. I saw it right when it went viral, before it even, the view count went up. I saw the video. Did I think twice to do anything? Uh, no. No, I didn't even think about it. I mean, shit, Megan even said that she wasn't even going to do it when I asked her. She didn't, even, she didn't want to touch that. There's, there's no reason to touch it. I mean, somebody died and there's a suicide, and she was, what, 14, 15, or something like that, I think? Or even 16? How old were she? 14, right? Yeah, she was like 15, I think. Yeah, 14, 15, okay. And, and, that's, and that's how it is. The problem I just have with Daniel is, again, I'm just going to say it again, he didn't necessarily stick on topic when it came to the video itself. And you can sit there, see, he's talking, he's thinking, I'm ignorant. He didn't even listen to what I said. I don't have to watch the whole damn video. I'm not watching his, his ugly ass mug for 10 minutes talking about bullshit. I'm going to skip the video every single minute so I can hear it for about 30 seconds, if that, and get an idea on what it's about. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to sit there for 10 minutes and just listen. It's a waste of my time. I don't know. My personal take would be that you would want to listen to the entire thing so you can make a better argument. I didn't watch it at all. I just listened to what both of you had to say, and that was my conclusion based on listening, that I I can see where he's coming from, and I don't see it. It's, it's a big deal. But like I said, I, I couldn't even listen to it. There's no way I could listen to the, the, the whole thing because it's all it's all the same shit. He even said uh, right there, he even said it to us that in his video, he, did, he talked about uh, some friend you know, or a personal experience with a friend or something completely irrelevant to Amanda Todd. I mean, I can understand that maybe his friend was uh, committed suicide by doing the exact same thing as, uh, as she did or committed suicide over the same reason because of bullying on the Internet. I can see that, but it didn't happen that way. He let people know personal details about a friend's death exploited the situation, added up to it, and tagged up the ass to Amanda Todd, and, uh, and that was it. So, I don't know, man. I feel like if he, if his fan base, if this is, if you always got a standard, like, 20K viewers plus extra people, if he wants to talk about something that happened to him or whatever, he's going to stray a little bit off topic, then let him. It's, I feel like the more, the more people talk about it the less bad it, it's not like it does any more harm more people talking and more people finding and more people doing that type of stuff i don't know i don't i don't see it as being a big issue but i mean that's just me yeah i mean if there was an outrage about it i feel like more people would have said it but he said there's only been two people that have said anything i don't see well, that's it. the thing don't, no, like, he hasn't even... gotten under people's skin enough doodles for, for them to make game videos about it and his fans are a bunch of sheep that just don't even do videos they just watch they're not the troll type I guess you would say you see what I mean like his channel is not really a troll troll channel so now he doesn't have very many people that would actually go above and beyond and make videos about it I don't know now, he's had he's had some videos like um, some ones about religion and stuff that I've seen that there were a lot of uh, mixed opinions on it I don't I don't think that this viewers just blindly follow it um necessarily i've seen some differing 
some differing things before. I was kind of yeah, mad you made him rage quit because I was going to talk to him about a video he made earlier, but whatever. But because he sits there and he says that, he says, well, he's let me finish. Then when I say let me finish, he doesn't let me finish. So he's nothing but a, a hypocr hypocritical dumbass. He can't even hold a conversation at all. And he stumbles on his words. He repeats himself way too many times. He doesn't get the message. He's an absolute failure. Absolute failure. So, I don't know, man. I see where he's coming from. I don't. I don't think it's that big of a deal. At least not the one that we gotta, you know, get an argument about it. But. Well, the thing is, though, he's comparing his friend's death to Amanda Todd's. That's the issue at the end. If he's gonna have to compare that death to Amanda Todd's death, then he's already wrong. He already lost the game. But see, the thing is, the issue is that I have with the Amanda Todd situation is Amanda Todd's not any different than anybody else who kills themselves, and that's why the whole thing pisses me off because Amanda Todd's experience in dying is no different than, say, his, say, one of his friends killing themselves, or like one of my friends that kills themselves. They're they're no different. Amanda Todd was a fucking skank. Like she she fucked up numerous times, and to be honest with you, I don't really feel an outwarming, you know amount of sympathy towards her but she it's no that's false her death is not any different than someone else did it the fact that the only difference is she got really famous off of it but when it's boiled down to the very bottom ground roots it's not any different so i i, I mean yeah people, more people are searching for it but um i mean sh i i don't i don't see him talking about it and making a video and talking about personal experiences getting a little bit off topic is um it's bad because if you, if he was only going to stick to you know the same topic the entire time, then I could see you you will probably have a problem with it too because he's not adding anything else into it. He's just regurgitating the news, and I would think that that's kind of dumb. But it's cool. I mean, whatever. Like I, you know, well, I, I see. Thing, what so, so is it okay for me to yeah, go? So for example, let's talk about. I know the people's going to love this. Let's talk about the earthquake. Yeah. Okay. Is it okay it? for me to make a video on it and and. and Basically, state that uh, I, I don't want to be in Japan because I live in California. At the time I did, I live in California, and we get a lot of earthquakes. Uh, it, it, and I'm scared of earthquakes. And the last time we had this major earthquake, and I start going in detail on how I lost my cousin in the earthquake, and blah 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 blah. And, and that's it. I mean, is, is that okay for me to explain it that way? If it's relevant to the topic, then I would say, yeah. Well, it's not it a Japanese fine. earthquake. I mean, it's a totally different subject. I mean, it's not a California earthquake or, or, uh, or it's, I didn't feel the earthquake. It's just a viral uh, topic. It has nothing to do with me. I don't work in my country. Yeah, but I mean, that's not that's not relevant to Repsion because Repsion is about a man of Todd. Yours wasn't at all, so it's not even close to the same thing. That's completely no, like it's, it's a straw man it's, argument. It's earthquakes. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. It's, it's not an earthquake, so it actually is the same thing. Yes, but Repsions is still on topic of Amanda Todd. You're not on the. It's he's not doing something just on quote suicide on its own. He's doing something on the Amanda Todd suicide. Like he's talking about it. You would just be doing something on general earthquakes. It's not about Japanese earthquake at all. That is totally exploiting. What he's doing is not because he's still having the Amanda Todd topic be the front and foremost thing. If you well, were doing it, be like, well, I was talking about the Japanese earthquake. Uh, in, in, in my example, I, I, I said I would talk about the earthquake and, and, uh, and everything else and then go into saying mm -hmm. my experience with the earthquake mm -hmm. and the last earthquake and then finish it off with the whole Japanese experience. Thumbs up for, you know, earthquake but couldn't you also make the argument that with amanda todd's thing there's a little more i'm trying to think of the word it's a little bit more in depth this time because um there's a lot more outline um uh reasons behind her death that can be related to other people um i'm pretty sure that most people as they go through their life have been you know made fun of bullied have felt like shit um and being being able to relate more to that experience is much more valuable and will draw um, more views and is more valuable to the most people than say a video about oh there's a Japanese earthquake but here's my experience with it. He you 
unless you're bringing up like you know relevant news facts about like well you know like well the japanese earthquake was this this and this magnitude well the one that happened here that freaked me out was this this and this i mean i don't i mean at the end of the day who the fuck cares <laughs> like if you're gonna make a video exploiting it then just make the video exploiting it Dude, doodle, none of my old campers had problems with anything that I did either. So did you do the same um, the same type of thing then that Repsion, you're saying that Repsion is doing right now? What do you mean? Like, I don't know, making videos that are... I think Repsion's video, without just from the way he was describing it and hearing what you're saying and putting them together to sort of form like a middle of the ground opinion. It sounds like it's pretty goddamn on topic. I feel like I should just go watch it right now, but I'm not going to because I don't have 10 minutes. But um, if if you make a video on a subject like Amanda Todd that's sticking pretty darn close to the relevancy of the issue and discussing, say, Amanda Todd plus like your experiences but keeping it close to Amanda Todd's actual issue then there shouldn't be a problem with it I mean I don't I just, when I watch I a video if I'm going to watch a video by someone like Mr. Repsion I don't want to have what CNN said earlier that day like I think most people when they go on YouTube they want like a personal feel by the person who's talking like if I want to watch a news story told by some kid you know who's got a bunch of you know whatever comics and stuff in the back of his room like I I would go watch CNN obviously that's more reliable but seeing Mr. Repsion summarize this for me and then talking about it is much more useful to me after watching a news story. Um, I think then that's probably what most people feel too. Like when I read a news story like on CNN or whatever, I'll, uh, I'll read the story, but then I love reading the comments because I love hearing what other people have to say about the story. I think that's what he's doing and what other people view it as. That's just my opinion though. I think that's probably, I mean, that's what I would do. That's what I would see it as. I mean, I don't know if that makes sense. I don't, I don't think you're I, wrong, but I don't think he's wrong either. I just think it's a big deal. So basically, it's a catch-22, and, and that's pretty much it. There's no, there's no, see, there's no, it's like, it's like the, the president. There's no way no one's going to convince to, for you to take my opinion or me to take your opinion. I don't think it's a necessarily a matter of taking one your opinion. I can I see where you both are coming from, and I think you both have legit points. Though I think it definitely weakens your argument when you tell him you haven't watched it. That was dumb. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. I didn't I watch the whole thing. He, he didn't, he, he, I didn't watch the whole thing. He didn't give me a chance to see. He was very dense, and he's always dense on the subject. And he knows he was he was wrong too because of how he acted. I just think you've got to know your enemy, man. If you're going to be in a debate, you got to come, or you're going to discuss, you got to come fully aware. Otherwise, the dude... He's not, necessarily, he's not necessarily an enemy, I don't really declare. That's, I wasn't saying he's an enemy. I'm just saying it, your debate, you got to come knowing the other guy. That's I shouldn't have said enemy. I was just quoting Rage Against Machine. But yeah, that's all. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really care. Either way, it was an entertaining listen, but I mean, I, I see both sides. I, yeah, it was entertaining. I'm sure that I'm sure that Doodle was just rubbing his little Irish uh, hands together. 